Welcome to this project video. In this video, we're going to be scanning a McDonald's Egg McMuffin from start to finish using the Artex Space Spider. On screen, you can see Artex Studio. That's what I'm looking at when I'm using the Artex Space Spider to do scanning. In the lower right hand corner, you can see a live feed of the actual object, the Egg McMuffin, on the scanning turntable, rotating for scanning. When we're using the turntable, it easily allows us to capture 360 degrees around the object, minimizing the number of setups we have to do when we're scanning. In the middle of the screen, you can see that there's false color on the Egg McMuffin. Parts of the scanner where it's at the correct distance are shown in green. If it's a little bit too close, it shows orange, and if we're a little bit too far away, it shows blue. I'm doing my best to scan at the correct distance, keeping that central bar in the correct area. At this point, I'm pausing the scanner, I'm going to flip the Egg McMuffin over, and we're going to restart scanning. This allows us to capture the other side of the Egg McMuffin, so that we generate a full model of both sides as well as the entire thickness of the sandwich. At this point, we're finished scanning. Each of our scanning operations took a little over a minute. Next thing we're going to do is erase all of the unnecessary data. The first piece that we're going to erase is the turntable. So I've isolated scan one, I'm doing a cutoff plane selection, and now when we hit erase, the turntable is going to go away. Next, we'll do the turntable from the second scan. Now I'm going to have both scans turned on, and I'm actually going to isolate the sandwich with a large cursor. And when I invert the selection, it'll delete everything that is away from the sandwich. Finally, we're going to delete a little bit of the hanging data just with a normal 2D selection. Next stop is to put the sandwich in the same coordinate system. This is putting the upper and lower together. I'm looking around right now to try and find reference marks on the sandwich that are common. I've settled on a small piece of cheese, and now I'm noticing that there are some common char marks that I can use that are in both the upper and lower half. There's one pair. There's another pair. And finally, for a third degree of freedom, we found this guy. We'll align them, make sure everything's in the right spot, and then we'll use the align command to fine tune our alignment and improve on my clicked suggestions. Next, we're gonna run what's called global registration. I'm using the default values to run global registration. And what that's going to do is take all of the data we collected and register all of the scan data against all of the neighboring data that's nearby in an effort to reduce duplication. Excellent. The global registration is finished and has taken 125 seconds. Next, we're going to do some noise reduction using outlier removal. I'm going to run it with the default values. This will eliminate a bunch of the floating data around the sandwich as well as clean up the edges of all the individual scans. Okay. Outlier removal is finished. It took approximately 40 seconds. Next step here is to generate a, a fusion. I've selected the watertight hole filling option for this fusion because my intention is to 3D print this Egg McMuffin and creating a watertight fusion is an important step to run the slicing algorithms for 3D printing. We could do hole filling after, but in this case, we'll let the, the sharp fusion algorithm do the hole filling all as one single step. The sharp fusion is now complete. We can see it took about 45 seconds. And now we get our first look at the actual mesh that we've created from our scan data. I'm running the small object filter, deleting everything except the largest mesh on screen to delete any small floating uh, lumps of data. And now we're moving into the texturing phase. I've selected both the scan of the upper and the lower half of the sandwich, and I'm gonna wrap the texture files to add color to the scan data that we're seeing on screen. This will give us a full color model to be printed. 
Okay, the texturing algorithm is finished. Now we can see that there are sliders to adjust the brightness, the saturation, the hue, the contrast, and the gamma. We can adjust those if necessary. I'm going to leave them as is. Here's our, fin our finished full color high resolution model of an Egg McMuffin. Thank you very much. Have a great day.